Hey guys, it's Brian. Uh, we're here in Somerville, Massachusetts at the Artisan Asylum. Um, talking to Brandon, Rascal Micro. Um, this, is, this, is a, this is a board. Those of you who are familiar, familiar with the Arduino have probably seen something along these lines. I mean, let's start off sure. by explaining how this is different from an Arduino. Sure, so it's maybe 25 times faster, has a thousand times more storage, but and it can, so can better it, in every way. Yeah, better in every way. Yeah. I mean, admittedly more expensive, sure. Right. I have an Arduino in here, right? So you can see it's bigger. Mm -hmm. um, but the big thing is it can handle real web traffic. So any shield that you could plug into an Arduino, you can also plug into a Rascal. Yeah. And then it comes with uh, a real web framework. Uh, it runs Python, has a web server built in, along with its own editor. So if you know how to make web pages and you know a little bit of Python, mm -hmm. then you can figure out how to do real web interfaces instead of, you know, you're probably your next best choice is like, oh, I'll get an Ethernet shield yeah. for this. And you only have like 32K of RAM. Yeah. So you put one image in it and you're like, oh, okay, it's full. Yeah, this right. on the other hand, the storage is based out of this uh, uh, micro SD. SD card, right? Yeah. So you've got gigabytes of storage. You can use it for data logging. You can use it for scientific experiments. Uh, it has all the same functions on these headers as you have with the Arduino shield. So yeah. basically what I'm trying to do is, I think the Arduino is great because it's easy for people to get started with. And I'm trying to make it so you can make something that has real interfaces that's yeah. also easy to get started with, especially for people who are like web hacker type folks. Mm -hmm. And, and the, I mean, these are out now. You can actually buy one yeah. of these um, yep. for about how much is it going to cost? Uh, somewhere between 100 and 150 bucks. Okay, something like that. And you're making these in batches of 100. You yeah, said. batches of 100 right now. Yeah. Um, how many have you moved so far? Uh, a few hundred. I don't know exactly. Uh, less than a thousand, though. Okay. Can I, you, can you, uh, go ahead. I was just going to ask if you could show us a quick demo of sure, the web yeah, interface. Okay. Yeah. So I have here. Uh, so I have one running back here, mm -hmm. right? And it's hooked up to this motor. I'm just using this Arduino as a motor controller. Um, and as I move the slider, so this, the board's actually a web server, yeah. so this page is served off of the Rascal itself. And as I adjust the slider, you can see it changes the speed of this motor back yeah. here. So that's like going kind of fast here, this is going even faster, right? Uh, and that was just through the wireless network here in the, in the building. Let me turn that off. And then I can also, I've got a, an editor hosted on the same board. So this is just a text editor in your web browser. This is the page that I was just looking mm -hmm. at. So I can change this. I can come in here and edit it so that it says, you know, add some text in here. I don't know, ham sandwich. You know, I'll just add ham sandwich yeah. in there. Hit save. Now, if I wanted to, I can go get a ham sandwich. I can hit refresh here, and now you can see the words ham sandwich appear there. Yeah. So if you're a web developer, you're like, oh, I, I can figure out how to do that. You know, yeah. A little HTML, and you've got yourself a real interface with an easy way to get connected to hardware. That's so, what I'm trying to do. So this is, I mean, this is connected to Wi-Fi, but the, uh, these two devices are not connected. Right. This is actually this is plugged into Ethernet. Yeah, I actually have this hooked in to yeah. the wireless transmitter here just so it can be on the network yeah, yeah, yeah. in this building. Um, if you wanted to, you can put a, a, a USB Wi-Fi dongle on there, and then it would be wireless, too. Because there are two USB ports yeah, on there. Yeah, you've got a couple USB ports. Um, uh, practical applications of any of this? Uh, mostly, it's a lot of weird stuff. I yeah. think scientific folks will like it because you can do real data logging. There's enough room for a lot of data, you know, gigabytes of data. Mm -hmm. And you can do all of the sort of scientific Python stuff that you might normally do on another computer. You can do right on this because yeah. it has the yeah. horsepower to do it. Uh, and then all of the sort of home automation stuff, like, you know, I have in my house, I have like a thermostat running off of this. I'm working on oh, wow. a sprinkler system yeah. for the garden. There's all that kind of stuff, which is... You know, there are products that do all of those things, but for me at least, they never do exactly what I want. Yeah. They do something like 80% of what I want and they're kind of expensive, and I go, oh, I can make something better than that. So, cool. yeah. Brandon, thank you so much. No problem. You're welcome.